question. I, you know, me, myself, and like you read when you were practicing, a lot of us had been doing it long enough and we built up a great relationship with a lot of the veterinarians. Um, I call it a circle of trust. There are certainly veterinarians that probably wouldn't like to work with me. And there's a lot of veterinarians, or I shouldn't say a lot, but there's some that, that maybe I'm not as comfortable with. And it's not that they're good, bad, or indifferent. They just have different approaches. And uh, I have to, myself, when I'm working as a team member for one of these clients, I have to have total confidence and be able to work and agree with what this veterinarian's you know, saying or how he's diagnosing problems. And, and the same with when it comes to me as the farrier, he's got to have total confidence in what I'm doing or suggesting. You know, I'm lucky that a lot of the vets I work for, you know, they'll diagnose a problem and they'll say, okay, what are, what are our options as far as shoeing this horse to, to make this problem better? You know, a lot of the ones I work for don't try to dictate a certain shoeing package. Uh, they're more open to options. Other vets are more apt to try to dictate things. And, then, you know, if you're not comfortable doing those types of procedures or, um, or agreeing with the process, I don't, I don't think it's a win-win situation for the client. And uh, me, myself, I'll step out of those kind of problems, you know. Well, you got to be open-minded. And, you know, there's a million ways to approach a problem. And uh, you have to go in with confidence in your ability to, to do a certain procedure. And some of those vets that are a little heavy-handed that laid down a certain shoeing package or whatever, if you're dis in a disagreement with them, you try to sit down and say, hey, look, you know, we can go down that road, but maybe we can alter it one way or the other and, and do something a little different. Most of them are pretty open-minded. You know, if they've got a lot of experience, they've already been down some bad, you know, avenues, and, and they'll, they'll listen, most of them.